Hi there, it's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Today I have a little um, maybe overlooked die set that is from the annual catalog, the new annual catalog, and it is called the Pretty Pop-Up Dies. And um, you may have overlooked it because it's a standalone die. It doesn't go with a, st a stamp set to uh, being included in a bundle. But um, I just wanted to show you some tips and tricks to uh, for using this die and how you can use it with so many other projects uh, products from the catalog. So it's 10 dies that you see. And um, the tricky thing, which I didn't realize when I first started, was that these uh, dies individually they emboss and they die cut where they lift up the um, some of the images, but it does not crop out completely the um, the shape that it's in. So, and I'll show you I'll show you how what I mean by that anyway. So, what we're gonna do? Let me just show you quickly the um, where, what the dies look like in the catalog. They are on page 17. Like I said, it's not part of a bundle. So you just have to kind of see, th these give some really great examples of, um, of how to use them in some sample cards. So um, we're gonna take some of these ideas and we're gonna go with it today. So, okay, that's what the dies look like. That's the, where that you can find them on the, um, in the catalog. This is the project we're gonna be doing today. And then I also wanna show you um, another sample of another project that I did. I'll give you a quick glimpse right now of this. Uh, this is the same, we're using the same uh, pop-up dies. And um, this set of note cards and envelopes and this cool little box, gift box for these is all um, included and in, um, in the, uh, it's in the catalog. So I wanted to use one of these uh, since I was loving this um, pop-up dies so much. So this is another one of my samples. So I'll show you, um, we'll talk more about that because I do want to show you how to assemble the box that comes in that set, which is a little int intimidating at first, but it's, it's really not hard at all. Okay, so this is what we're actually going to be working on today. I went ahead and I did um, crop this with the die. And um, so as you can see, it's not popped out. Uh, it's, it's not the circle that you may have thought that it would crop out to be. So, and I, what I do here is um, I take the die afterwards. You could, there's a like an embossed circle around this. Not sure if you can see it, but um, so you could just follow that line and um, do your, do your, you know, trimming that way. But I don't want to take a chance. So I just make a very light, make sure I'm on the circle, make a very light line around there. And then that gives me a really good edge to follow. Okay, there you go. So we have our circle. Now, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm tempted, every time I do this, I'm tempted to just use my fingers and pop these up, which you can do for the, the large, um, the large um, samples here. But um, really I found it's easier to just pop it out through the back. The big ones, yeah, you can just use your finger to pop them up. But the little ones, as you can see with this flower here, only some, only half of it is actually going to pop up. So anyway, that's what, normally what I would do. So I, I, in this case, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want them to be popped up because we're going to use a little ink and um, some of our blending brushes. And um, we're going to put some color on here that way. So what I have here is Balmy Blue, Mango Melody, and Basic Gray. Well, I think I'm, I'm just going to save that for the... Um, for the sentiment. So let me just open up my balmy blue, mango melody, 
and I'm taking one of my um, blending brushes. Now I have two sets so that I don't have to worry about cleaning them, waiting for them to dry, and then using them um, on my next color. So I have two sets, it comes three to a package, and this, this way I can just kind of just add, do my color families. So if I have blues, I'll use this one, then just put it away and it will, um, it will just uh, dry itself in time and then I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my blending brush and depending, like check your color because this, the Mango Melody does come out pretty strong. So I just wanna give some of the, um, some of the items that are going to pop up just a little bit of color just to help them along. And let's see, I'll put a little bit of Mango Melody here. I don't want it to be too dark. Now I'm just gonna switch out, use my Balmy Blue. That doesn't come on as strong, but that's what I wanted to do my, um, kind of the focal images that are going to be popped up. So you can see, I can just do this right on top of it because I don't really have to uh, stamp off for a little. And that's why I kept them down um, flat just for now. And then we'll just add a little bit of blue just around to the edges here. Maybe one more here with this guy. And then you can decide later on which one you want to um, pop up or not. Okay, let me just give this a little more. It is really wanting to uh, hold back on me today. Okay, so now my balmy blue brush is back in my bin and I don't have to worry about it. Same for the Mango Melody. And the, the, those will just dry on their own. All right, let's start to put this together. And then I'll show you how we're gonna use one of these little, uh, these little pop-up dies also. You would think that these are going to die cut an actual dragonfly butterfly out, but they're not either. They are made to just lift up onto, uh, onto an already layered um, paper. So here I have my uh, basic gray cardstock, and this is five and a quarter by four, and I'm just going to put that right on here with some seal. Get my and Okay, now I don't want to do that yet. I want to get my layer because I do want to add a little bit of ribbon on there. Okay, so this I just took a piece of vellum and I cropped it out with one of the, not the largest, I think it was the second largest of the deckled rectangles. And I love these for layers. It just adds um, nice interest to it. So I'm just going to put my, um, uh, my vellum and the vellum is going to, I don't want it to be seen where I'm adhering it. So I'm just going to put it right smack in the middle and that will be fine for that. And we're just going to put this on just a little bit askew. And now let's go ahead and um, use the backing, pop up and pop out just the ones that you want to show. And you run the risk of it being, you know, flattened if it's going to be mailed in an, in an envelope. So just do your best. You don't want the adhesive behind it to, um, when you are putting adhesive on, you wanna make sure that you're not putting adhesive on these spots because then even once the card is made, you could always pop these up. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right anywhere sort of in the center. Oh, I have to put adhesive on it. So we have our adhesive on that. Let's do this. Now this is what I meant. I'm just going to put adhesive on the ones that I, um, I know I'm not gonna be popping out. And if you use liquid glue, that might be a little bit easier. Um, I really just want the edges to be set so they're not gonna go anywhere. All right, now we can put this guy on and he'll just go right there like that. Press down your edges and then you can still 
come back with your take your pick tool or your piercing tool and just pop these up and you'll be good to go. All right, so now let's get this layer wrapped. I had some um, of the crinkle ribbon. What did I do with that? Here it is. And I'm gonna put this on first before we do our, um, our sentiment tag. And this is just gonna get wrapped around very easily. And I want it to be right below it. Give myself enough to trim it when I'm done with it. And if you can get past the static electricity with this, you'll be okay. Okay, then we're good. Make sure that you're just a little bit lower and we're gonna be putting our tag right over there on the side. So I can just trim that a little bit and now we can get this on. So I'll add a little bit more this time since I rubbed off most of the adhesive. And this guy's gonna go right here. Okay, and that is why I put the um, the vellum sheet layer over to the left corner because I knew I was going to be putting this on here. So we're going to do a little sentiment, and I'm this obviously this is just these are just dies. Like I said, it doesn't come with a um, a stamp set. So I chose this uh, very best occasions, and this has all sorts of beautiful, um, perfectly. Uh, Sentiment, sentiments that are just perfect for everything. So we have happy birthday. I just wanted a really little one. I love you, thinking of you, you know, you make my life happier, holiday, grateful. So that's why I chose that one because I do, um, I do really like that, all those options. All right, let me just check and make sure that I'm pretty centered here. Okay, and I'm just gonna put this over to the left Oops, and I want to, um, I can fix that with a little, um, with my black Stampin' Right marker, just fill that in a little bit. But I wanted to show you how we're gonna use one of these little guys here. So I think I'll take the Dragonfly, and we're gonna need the um, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine for this. I should have brought my mini, but this is what I have here. So we're gonna use this one. And let's see, all I'm gonna do is put my plate, my number one plate, whoop, my magnetic plate, which I still have good luck with. I, I know it's been discontinued and um, I can see now something is starting to give. You can see here it's spreading a little bit and I think that was the reason. So I'm just gonna use it as long as I can because I do love it and it just makes things so much easier. So here, I just have this um, centered, not centered, just over to the, to the right of the tag, and I'm just gonna run this through. Okay. So here we have, oops, this guy now, and we want to just pop this up. But before I do that, I wanted to be able to add a little bit of color to, to this uh, butterfly or dragonfly. So what I'm gonna do is bring out my vomit glue again. And this time, um, I don't have the, I don't want it to, the color to be all around it. So you can go one of two ways. Just stick your nail under there and you can just put some color on that way. Or if you have a piece of scrap paper, which I'm pretty sure I do here, just stick the scrap right under there and you can just pop it up like that. And you can do the same thing for his uh, top part of his body and the back part. Just stick that scrap paper. Obviously that one is way too big for this, but get the job done and then just a little bit more for his 
tail. Okay. And there we have our little um, dragonfly to embellish. And you can see it didn't pop, it didn't crop all the way out. So that's why I placed it right there on the angle like that. And this is just gonna go right over here. So let me just get some um, dimensionals. And I think what I'm gonna do here is just um, put them on the bottom. I don't want it to be, uh, I can move that up a little bit. It has a little bit of zhuzh room to it. Okay, so let's just put a little bit of this. So I don't really want it to be rocking on the um, on the ribbon. And I don't want it to show through on the dragonfly. So I'm just gonna put it there. That will work nicely. And this will go right there. So it's it's right below the ribbon line, but it's um it's not wobbly. All right, let's just put a few little gems on here. These are the um, iridescent pearls, basic jewels. And we'll just dress this up a little bit. This butterfly needs a little sparkle to the body. And you could actually add, um, which I don't have here with me either, but you could add some uh, Wink of Stella to that. That would be beautiful. And then I just want to highlight the, um, the vellum. There you go. So that's it. Look how quick and simple that was and um, how pretty uh, and personal personalized it looks because these guys are just popping right, right up at you. Okay, let me show you how I did the, um, that box. Now the box is, it's called um, Craft cards, note cards and envelopes. And you get in the package, you get 20 actually, note cards and 20 envelopes. I don't have the original packing anymore, but um, this is how they come. So also with this, which was a total surprise when I opened up the box, uh, the, the package was this, um, this beautiful gift box that you can put the note cards in and it makes for a perfect um, little gift for someone. So the great thing about this is that no, well, the bad thing is that there's only one to a package. So I only have one package. So I'm, what I'm going to do is don't cringe, but I'm going to take this apart because I really want to show you how easy this was to put together because it, it took me a while just to, just to kind of figure out where everything goes. And I'll do the same here for this guy. You can see how it pops out. And the great thing is that there is no adhesive needed for this at all. So what I did when I first took it out was I just went ahead, I wasn't sure which way they were going, but I just folded back on all of the score lines because you could always switch it up when you're done, okay? So then I figured what I saw here, and this is what kind of gave it away, it made me um, realize that this had to be my last step. That had to be the last thing that slips under these uh, this tab goes under these little slits right here. So I just kind of worked my way that way. So I pushed in my, my little tabs, knowing that those are always gonna be the end. And then these little guys just fit right in and go just like that. And they, you don't need adhesive. I guess you could put adhesive down there if you want, if you're not sure, like as you're building it. But then this is gonna go right on top. See that? fold it over and then once you put that in you'll you'll see how it's coming together and it's very secure just the way it is now I have my slots in here Can you see that and then now I know this will be my last step this is just going to be folded over and then down and then here are my little tabs that you can see and those are going to slip right into that box to those um those openings right there. And then you look, no adhesive at all, and you have a perfectly sized box. Same thing with this. Now, I just did the same thing. I You have the tabs on this, they're, they're small, but you can see them. And then on this side, you have the, um, the slits where you know that's gonna be your last step that they have to go into. So same thing here, I put my little tabs in, knowing that those, those were gonna be for the sides. 
and then just tuck that in. It's all loose now, but if you can use both hands, you're good. And then tuck that in, and then you can see here that it's starting to um, come together. It's a little harder now because I already have um, decorated the top of it, but it will be easier once everything is flat. So here again, I have my um, tabs, and I know they have to go right in here, and they slip right underneath it. There you go. Beautiful packaging. And um, so you could fit, I have 10 of my cards and uh, no cards and envelopes in here. And uh, you could probably fit more, but you have 10 to save for, for something else. And here I just used, um, this is my favorite print from the Rings of Love, I believe. Yeah, Rings of Love. This was the uh, celebration paper at DSP that um, was available. I, I think it's still available. I, I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, all I did here was I took the, um, a strip, two inches, and I used the, um, the oval shaped one, the oval shaped die here, and I just ran it right through onto the DSP. And then once I, once I had it lift, uh, adhered, then I could just lift up whatever I wanted and, uh, this, I just love the way this came out. And then, of course, this paper is so beautiful, I had to line the envelope with it also. So there you go. That goes in here. That will be, when I finish all the rest of them, that will be a beautiful um, uh, note card to be able to send to someone. Now, what I did here was I um, stamped, this was from the Go To Greetings, and I stamped it on a piece of craft paper. Did you know that we actually have six by six craft paper? And we've had that um, one or two catalogs ago also. So you could have stamp, uh, stamped the just a note right onto the, um, right onto the box before you put it all together while it was nice and flat. Or just use this. I don't think you can really tell the difference. And um, this was the silver and twine, um, silver, twine, a silver and something twine that was from the new catalog also. So those are my two projects today with the rings, uh, pretty pop-up, uh, pretty pop-up dies. And um, I have another video, which will be out within a day or two, I'm not sure when, that um, will go, I'm going to still use these. I just been using them because I just love them and they came out so, you know, every project came out so great. Um, so my next my next video will be using these, but I've done a few uh, watercoloring techniques on those cards. So I hope you can come back and um, and visit me and take a look at that one also. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like it with a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, and also subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel so that you'll be sure to get um, my next video when you n get notification of my next video um, next time I post, which will be within the next day or two. Uh, if you aren't shopping with, uh, currently shopping with another uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to, uh, I would love the opportunity to, um, to support you and help you with any of your paper crafting needs. So I hope that you'll keep me in mind. And you can visit my blog post, my blog page, um, and I should have this and a few other projects on within uh, sometime within the next few days. Okay, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye-bye.